Right, we're now at Qasar ben uh, We followed a sign to a geo seat. We've climbed up here and now we've got some dinosaur footprints. This one, this one. Yeah, these are quite good. There's a whole section here. We have a look at all these prints. Some of them are clearer than others. Let's try and find one with some good toe marks. Well, that one's quite good. All right, welcome to stop one on our adventure today. We're in Wed El Khlil, which is like an eco resort, I suppose. Look at these houses. <laughs> what an impressive setup. We've got a whole farmhouse here, all sorts of random trees planted. This is a really beautiful setup here, it'll be great in a few years once all the uh, olive trees and fig trees and banana trees have all grown up. We can have a, we can have a forest here at this eco lodge. Nope, they are not impressed at all. Hello cat! You want to be in our video? Are you going to come with us? Are you going? Yeah. being accompanied on our walk around the farm. Nice step on you. Yeah. <laughs> Getting to know the local animals. Right, we just got some cave paintings by the side of the road. Let's go and have a look and see where they are. This is an impressive overhang. Not seeing any painting. Where are the actual paintings? <laughs> Do you think maybe they've stripped them off the wall and put them somewhere else? Or maybe they've covered them over to protect them. Okay, so it's a slight anticlimax. It's a mystery. I'll have to go and look it up and see what happened to these. Unless they're really small and I'm just not seeing them. Strange. Okay, so a friendly passerby on a moped took pity on us and pointed out where they are. So actually it's this small patch you can see here that seems to be better preserved in red. I don't know if this is going to show up on the camera, but yeah, you can see all sorts of red animal figures. Got like horses and deer and things flowing around. Some larger animals as well. Yeah, okay. I, I believe that they're cave paintings. <laughs> so we're on the hunt for the second set of cave paintings, uh, which are slightly harder to access. So, I mean, there was a sign pointing down the road, but then road ran out. And now we are walking through someone's field. And then we're going somehow to scramble up there. And I guess that's the protective bars around the cave paintings up there. I'm not sure how we're going to get up there, but let's go and give it a go. Ooh, well, we got ourselves up here. This isn't very wheelchair accessible. Now, let's hope that there's actually some cave paintings. Oh, there's a sign. Let's have a look. Well, we've got elephants and three people, apparently. Can I actually see any of that though? Let's have a look. Presumably the red bit is the only bit. Okay, there's an elephant. Yes, at the bottom there. Okay, yeah, I can see some red, some elephants. Probably a good idea having these bars here. Make sure no one vandalizes it. You see any other red sections or is that? That's just that bit. Oh dear, okay. All right, let's go and try the other one and see. See if the other one is any better. Let's see. Oh no. Someone's, someone's smashed the sign on this one. That's not good. We can't even read what it says. Oh dear. Also, how, how, 
How have they smashed the sign? Some tiny person has managed to climb in. Well, there's something. That's the, uh, that's gotta be, you think it's a dinosaur? <laughs> Can you make out any random words on the on the thing? I see Dushas. Okay, got Gazelle. Oh, they hunting scene. Okay, uh, so they probably snuck in over this side. Right, we see any hunting beyond that one largish animal? Again, everything's come off the wall, hasn't it? Apart from in that red section there. Yeah, that's a shame. So yeah, probably not worth the hike up the hill, I would say. <laughs> Given how steep it is. Right, we're now at Qasar bin e Khadir. Uh, we followed a sign to a geo seat, which brought us to the car park down at the bottom there. So if we have a look. And then we were on our own. We kind of had to get our way up here, but the car is down there. We've climbed up here, and now we've got some dinosaur footprints. This one, this one. These are quite good. The whole section here. We have a look at all these prints. Some of them are clearer than others. Let's try and find one with some good toe marks. Well, that one's quite good. Right yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Each one of these is an ancient dinosaur footprint. And then there's a whole other section further down that has some slightly less impressive footprints. Let me just show you. Down there on that flat bit of rocky outcrop. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Mohammed has foraged us some geese, which looks a lot like grass, but apparently it's delicious. So let's give it a go. Tastes a little chivey. Like a combination of chive and grass, mainly grass. Tastes a lot like grass. Welcome to Ksar Beni Khadir. Seems pretty well preserved. It's all locked up, um, so the gate's shut. Yeah, beautiful. And apparently this is the scene, uh, this is a location where they filmed a very famous Tunisian historical drama. I'm gonna have to check with Mohammed what it's called again, he mentioned it earlier on. So the Tunisian series that was filmed here was called Matus. I might have to look it up on YouTube, see if we can find some clips and match them up to this incredible location. We're now hiking, trying to find the cave paintings at Sharbat, what is it? And Sifri, Sharbat and Sifri. No more road, but look at this landscape, incredible. And we're hoping that these cave paintings are slightly better preserved than the last two that we went to see. Well, we found it, it didn't take much trekking. You got one up there with the bars protecting it, and then a much larger one up here. It looks like some kind of animal cage. So let's go up and check this out. We got a sign that tells us what this is. No. Okay. I mean, it's got to be the red bits on the roof, Look doesn't it? That. Yeah, I can see animals, four-legged beasts, some other markings there. You see a cow with big horns? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There he is. Oh wow. Can you see any on this right-hand side? I can see the back end of something and the rest is kind of flaked off. I mean, that's definitely visible cave paintings up on there, especially one, two, three, four, five, six, 
nine or ten different figures there. Right, let's wander over the other side and see what see what that has. This would make a great campsite. You could camp amongst the Stone Age paintings. Nice clear area here. Right, climbed up. Let's have a look. Yeah. This one doesn't look quite so promising. Oh, yeah. See anything? Okay, let's come over. Oh yeah, right at the front. So there's a figure there. What's that? That's a horn. That's a cow. Yeah, look, it's got it's got horns on top. Yeah. I think. Is that yeah. the only figure we can see? Yes. Yeah. Okay, the rest seems to have been eroded. So this is the best of the three sites that we've been to today. I mean, look at the, look at the surrounding countryside, it's beautiful. Uh, and the actual paintings themselves, at least over on that one, are very well preserved and you've got more individual figures, which is good. So yeah. And it's only really like a 200, 300 meter trek from the, the road ends down there and then you just walk in.